45 to 55 year old in that decade is the most common time for women to commit. Really? Yeah. This is why my next book I'm writing right now is on the mental health of menopausal women because we're struggling. And so the first thing you have to know is that after 40, our sex hormones start to decline. So estrogen goes up and down. So one day you're going to experience if you have a, if you live with a 43 year old woman, you're going to experience she's great. Next day you're going to be like, who are you? That's because her estrogen is on a roller coaster ride. So that's the first thing to know. Second thing is that progesterone is plummeting after 40. They actually say now at 35 progesterone is starting to go down. So as progesterone goes down, we are less stress resilient. So little things are going to irritate us like they've never irritated us before. And you might be the recipient of that. So if you find we're very triggerable, it's because we're losing progesterone. So we need to, we just need to have more breaks. We need more nurturing. Like I explained in the menstrual cycle, we need to have more love brought our way because we just can't handle stress the same way. And then as, as ultimately estrogen finally goes into a place where she's non-existent once a woman doesn't have her cycle, we can't hold on to information the, way, the same way we used to be able to. We forget things and it's really frustrating to us. And so when people around us, like I went through this with my team, when I was trying to get my menopausal hormones in check, they would say, well, you already told us that. Yes, you reminded us of that. And I started finding I was repeating myself. And then I realized, oh, I'm at a new level of low of estrogen. And then I worked, you know, getting, I'm working with some bioidenticals, working with some lifestyle to bring my estrogen up. But from 40 till about 55, that is about a 10 to 15 year period where the woman's brain has to recalibrate to these loss of hormones. And so our moods are all over the place during that time. So understanding where we're at, having more compassion for us, not taking us on, um, and just helping us understand ourselves, which is largely what I'm trying to do through my books, is will be so helpful. But we don't even understand our own selves. Menopausal moods are, are treacherous. It's an extreme sport. 